Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. Well, it's official. Kevin McCarthy delivers first remarks after winning House Speaker. Now will the speaker designate raise his right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you're about to enter. So help you God. Yes, I do. Congratulations and God speak. Members elects will rise. The chair will now administer the oath of the office. All members elect will raise their right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic? That you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same? That you take this obligation freely? without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. Congratulations. You are now members of the 118th Congress. Our nation is worth fighting for. Kevin McCarthy won the speakership just after midnight Saturday with 216 votes of Democrat Hakeem Jeffries, 212. Yeah, there was six that voted present, so that allowed the number to come down to 216 to win the speaker's position. And off we go. Before we start, I just want to say... All the drama queens out there, especially on the Democrat side, but there were some Republicans too, to be fair. Our country is in peril. The Republic is teetering on the edge and blah, 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 blah. Several days without officially having a Congress sworn in is not the end of the Republic or Western civilization as we know it. In fact, I'll ask the average person in the last few days who probably didn't know anything about what was going on in Washington your life changed any because there wasn't any Congress? The answer is, uh, no. Yeah, it took a few days. Yeah, it was ugly. Yeah, it was showing how the sausage is made. You know, it's amazing to me. It's uh, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy officially opened 118th Congress early Saturday morning. That's the other thing. Technically, it was not on January 6th, which I'm proud of. Because we all know in politics, optics is everything. And how President Biden lied. I believe he said five law enforcement officers were killed during the January 6th riot. That's a lie. A lie. It's not even exaggeration. It's an outright lie. The speakership followed a dramatic week for him, slowing, slowly winning over 20 Republicans who initially did not support his speakership and defected their votes to other members. Hope one thing is clear, he said, I will never give up. I will never give up for you, the American people. And there he is being sworn in. Our nation is worth fighting for. Upon accepting the gavel of Speaker of the House, McCarthy thanked his colleagues for their support and shared his vision for uniting the legislative body. And, you know, as Speaker of the House, my ultimate responsibility is not to my party, my conference, or even Congress. My responsibility is to our country. His remarks also included a warning on Keem Jeffries, who was selected by the Chamber's Democrats to be the House Minority Leader, which makes sense. You know, it, it's, it's funny. He added to, to Leader Jeffries, there will be times when we agree and disagree. 
Hakeem, I need to warn you. I also won 100% of my conference vote on this floor two years ago, so good luck. Is it Kim Jeffries going to be able to keep the squad lunatic progressives, which he has won, actually, so that's kind of odd. Nancy Pelosi was a political animal and one of the worst speakers in my lifetime, but the fact of the matter is she was never a progressive. She went along with it for political gain only. I don't think she personally believes in it, but... She did it, so it might as well. It comes out the same. What's Jeffrey's going to do with his moderate Democrats, ones that barely won their seats, and Trump won congressional districts? It's going to be interesting. McCarthy also revealed some of the priorities, securing the border and attempting to eliminate some of the federal debt, which is now worth $31 trillion. He addressed the long-time challenges, the debt in the Chinese Communist Party. Yeah, the Communist Chinese Party. Besides fiscal things, that is the number one threat to the United States and the Republic. Bar none. We must speak of one voice on all of these issues. He vowed to keep build a nation that is safe and help form a future that is built on freedom. Make it government accountable. Well, we're going to have to see. They all say that. It was built on checks and balances, and that's the other thing. It hasn't been checks and balances, I'm afraid. Uh, the Biden administration, the majority of Democrats in the House, have ignored laws, twisted their meanings, executive orders that were even set up front that were unconstitutional. And they took six, eight, ten months before the court ruled on it, so they got what they wanted. It's, um, we're going to have to see. And they were held accountable to nobody. Is this new Congress going to be held accountable? We'll have to see. But be honest with you, it has to be better just by default. Stop wasteful spending, you know, the usual stuff. The pledge to cut regulatory burden, lower energy costs for families, and create good-paying jobs for workers by unleashing reliable, abundant American-made energy. That one's going to be tough. How's he going to get it through the Senate? Interesting, though, I was really happy to hear this. Our first bill will repeal funding for 87,000 new IRS agents. I don't know congressional rules of the Constitution well enough to know whether the House can just do that on its own without the Senate. We'll have to see. Because the government should be here to help you, not go after you. And, you know, this is the part I really liked a lot, too. Maybe this is symbolic, but I actually liked it. The Republican also said he would reopen the U.S. Capitol building, which remained behind additional security measures and was mostly inaccessible to the public following the riots on January 6th. My friends, this chamber is open to all Americans which he met with thunderous applause from Republicans. Democrats in the chamber remain silent. Opening up the people's house to the people and the Democrats just sat there. It's amazing to me. It truly is. The line drew applause from Republicans. In his closing remarks, McCarthy said, our nation is worth fighting for. Our right to w- worth fighting for. Our dreams are worth fighting for. Our future is worth fighting for. Those are all great words. They all sound good. Now, the devil's in the details, as they say. The Rules Committee's going to meet, and the Congress, as a, as a body, will vote on the rules. We'll see if those 6, 8, 10, up to 20 Republicans balk at the new rules, suggestions and demands they made in order to vote for McCarthy for Speaker. I did a previous video. I laid out the 10 demands that the I call them the rebels. They call them uh, slashed obstructionists, but I prefer rebels because they had some good points. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Do we feel like Charlie Brown the football? Yeah, a little bit. We're in a lot of trouble, folks. We've been in worse situations, but in my lifetime, this is probably the most trouble the Republic has been in, and I was born in 1956. So we're going to have to see. And I include the Cuban Missile Crisis in that as well. We're going to have to see. But I do have to say this, though. The founding fathers set up the government, the Constitution, 
the two branches, the House and the Senate, and then the executive, the president, and the Supreme Court judicial, basically made it idiot-proof. But unfortunately, the idiots have pushed that right to the edge. And we're going to see if the Constitution of the Republic holds, or it ends up being something that was so entirely different from when I was born till now, and nobody will recognize the country. And that's the fear. That's the problem. We're going to have to see. Is it really idiot proof? Until next time, goodbye and good luck. <laughs>